Hello everybody, this is Scott, and today I'll be asking, I'll be answering a couple questions, and the first one will be, um, should I root my Android device? Uh, I don't understand, like, why a lot of people think rooting is bad. Did I root my phone? No. Could I? Yes, yeah, so there's like well, one root, one click root or something like that, I don't know, it instantly roots your phone. Great item. Um, I don't understand why people seem to hate the idea of rooting your phone. They seem to have an idea that if you do it, you can easily screw something up. Um, very rarely does someone actually screw up their phone while rooting it. And if they do, you can unbrick a phone by trying to force your phone by to do a factory reset. Um, there's unbricking software. I don't remember what it was called. But, um... Very interesting how some people seem to have an idea. What does it mean to root your phone? Uh, if you ever use a Linux machine and you have to give your, uh, you have to, whenever you want to like install something, you have to give the program administrative approval to install itself. Uh, on a Windows machine, for instance, there's account controls. An account control could be, uh, there's the administrative account, then there's like guest accounts where you can name for individual people. The administrative account controls everything. Windows doesn't, re Microsoft doesn't recommend being in the administrative account all the time. It's worse for security, and it's just kind of pointless to be there all the time. So think of being in a rooted Android, it's kind of like that. You have complete control over, over every aspect of your phone. Now, I'll, now, there are some downsides to this. Don't get me wrong. It is great, but there are still some things that are wrong. Uh, number one, when you root your phone, you are completely opening yourself up to everything in the Android software, and you have complete control over everything on the phone. That's essentially what it's like to root your phone. You can uninstall anything on the phone. You can forcefully uninstall, up, get new apps. Uh, a lot of apps like firewalls require it to be done. A lot of uh, powerful anti-theft may require it. But um, it seems like there are a lot of malicious apps that really screw over rooted phones. What do I mean by this? A rooted device does not, it's not as, how do I put this, secure because you're always in that administrative state. You always have complete control. And a lot of people who don't know what they're doing with an Android device may actually be able to, be, be able to basically break the phone or as we call it, breaking the phone. When you break the phone, it's got the nickname a brick because it's that's what it is. It's a five hundred dollar, maybe three hundred dollar brick. Doesn't do anything. Can't get on. You're bricked. So it's quite interesting to see when people do that because they get so annoyed and it's really funny. But I think rooting your phone is a good idea. I don't recommend to everybody to do it though. And the advantages that you actually get from rooting your phone are so very little. Because Android isn't a heavily restrictive operating system to begin with. The reason uh, iPhones have jailbreaking. Jailbreaking was a term that was created to mock the idea that Apple was was hev was basically handholding all the iPhone users and restricting them so heavily for two things: monetary gain, and that's because they generally thought the average user would be almost uh, in a way unintelligent enough to understand the full. Uh, what their phone could actually do. So when they started jailbreaking the phone, they had complete control over everything. It was that simple. But uh, it's not quite the same with uh, Android, and you have no reason to do it. The very few things that really annoy you would be the pre-installed apps, and um, that's that's just something you can get over. I mean, it takes up space, yes. Why are they there? They're generally paid for. The company gets paid money for having those apps there. But seriously, man, there's no reason to really complain about it. Bloatware is what this nickname is. Bloatware is any unnecessary software that you don't seem to use and has no real purpose on your computer. So that's kind of what a way, like, uh, think back on the old droids at a software that a lot of people hated, and it was called NFL Mobile. I think it was from Verizon. A lot of people seem to hate that. A lot of people hate the um, Google Play videos. I don't understand why. But the th but the fact is, it's just something you gotta get over. Because I don't under I don't I don't think it's just 
worth the effort to reach your phone to uninstall a couple apps. So should you reach your phone? Up to you. If you want to have more control and be able to install certain apps, go ahead. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for another video. And I'll be back. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.